I'm starting vlog nine today. The clocks went back. No, they went forward, didn't they? <laughs> the clocks went forward at the weekend and it's surprisingly boiling today. So much so that I am just in a t-shirt on our walk. And as of yesterday, the stay at home rule has been lifted. So I'm hoping to go a little bit further out at some point soon to different places that I can see some different birds. They're not birds, but I have seen a brimstone butterfly, which is bright yellow. I will try and get a video of it if I can, but they are all flying very far away from me. So I've seen a brimstone butterfly and a peacock. The butterfly, not the bird. If I saw the bird, I would not be able to count that on my list. Not that I can count the butterfly on my list because it's not a bird. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> Yesterday you missed me seeing a new bird because my camera battery was dead. It was a stock dove. As I couldn't film it, I will paint a visual picture of what a stock dove looks like. Or you could go and Google it. But it's basically a cross between a wood pigeon and a feral pigeon. So slightly in between size wise, but sort of looks like a wood pigeon without the white collar around its neck. I'm sure you can picture it perfectly now. As it is now spring, the migrants are coming in. There are new birds that I can listen out for, so today I'm trying to hear a willow warbler, which looks like a chiff chaff, but they don't stick around at all during the winter. Um, and they look pretty much identical in the field, so I've got to listen out for it because it's got a different call. I think that says 22v1 to check it. So as you saw, one of those girls had a colour ring on it. And colour rings are used by bird ringers. So you can read the ring in the field and report it to whoever's managing that particular scheme. So in this case, I'll look up whoever's managing the scheme. I assume it will be the same person that does all the colour ringing of the girls on this lake. And I'll say I've seen this bird, where and when I've seen it, and what the ring number was, and she can then log that in the database, and you can track things like migratory patterns, um, longevity of the birds, whereabouts they move in the local area. It's a really useful tool to give us an idea of bird behaviour and science. Some guy who was part of a family just walked past me and went, oh, you look dodgy. I'm not sure how to take that. Is it just because I've got binoculars on? I mean, I've got binoculars. I've got a my tr scope tripod out the back of my rucksack and I'm carrying a camera, but I wasn't filming at the time. Thankfully, his wife then said, we probably look more dodgy. So I wasn't sure how to respond to that. I just laughed it off. I should add that if you ever see a bird with a colour ring, it's really helpful if you can report it. I'll put a link to the website that has the list of all the different schemes and who you should contact if you see a particular bird with a ring. But it, the website's a little bit finicky, so if you can't figure out who you need to contact, uh, leave a comment or give me a message and I will let you know who you need to speak to. 
the more people that report the rings, the more data you get and the better and more useful it is. Just saw a tree creeper. It flew off before I could get my camera out, but I saw it. I've really failed with this vlog today. I've just seen a black cat which is another migrant and it flew off but it's more important for me to see it in the binoculars first than it is to try and get the camera on it This has turned out to be a video of seeing new birds that I can't get on film because I've just seen my first swallow of the year. Welcome to me wearing this rather fetching hat because it's sunnier than expected and I'm at my dad's house. Um, having lunch in the garden and uh, this is what he could offer me in terms of sun protection so I don't get sunburnt. He told me he's seen two red-legged partridges this morning down here in this field so I am searching for them. <gasps> yes that was one! Oh. Well that was definitely a partridge and in keeping with this week's theme I did not get a very good video of it. Oh well. Today I'm at a new nature reserve that I've never been to before. We've just seen a nice man who explained where the best places are to see stuff around here and I have seen my first shell duck for the year. There are a couple on one of the lakes that I probably wouldn't have looked at had I not seen a man with a scope also looking at that lake. We have just spotted a ruddy duck, which is it's on the list, it counts. It's a North American bird that came to Europe quite a while ago, but it hybridizes with the European version of it, which is called the white-tailed duck, and basically can cause the white-tailed duck to die out. Long story short. 
So they're trying to cull the ruddy ducks in Europe to control the spread of them round here so that they don't cause the, basically the extinction of the white-tailed duck. So they're getting harder and harder to see now. It started raining a little bit, um, but we've seen a lot more black caps um, singing and a couple more swallows as well. So it's definitely spring. It's a bit hard to tell, but all of these birds that are tiny birds skimming the top of the water are a mixture of swallow and sand martins. And they fly close to the top of the water to catch all the bugs. It was so sunny yesterday that I got sunburnt, and now it is hailing. So the weather's really weird at the moment. Um, so I saw quite a few birds this vlog, um, which was a combination of it now being spring, so we've got all the migrants coming through like black caps and swallows and sand martins and all of those and also I can go slightly further away from home to go places to see slightly different birds. Hopefully it will continue this way. Thanks for watching, bye!